<sighs> You're right. Paima will do her best not to say anything wrong. At first, Paima felt bad about keeping Yoimiya in the dark. But now, it feels like we made the right decision. Yep, that's why we're doing all this. You want to use the purest material to create a star observation device? Huh. That pair of specially crafted lenses should do the job. However, a purest material is too vague. It'd be better if you were more specific. Firstly, this all sounds rather, uh, strange. I never heard that legend about meteor showers. You sure you're not just messing with me? Trouble, but we are kind of messing with someone. Sorry, Inazuma's pretty far, so maybe some key information got lost across the ocean. Still, I want to at least give it a shot. Even though the information's vague, can you help us at all? Well, sure. Why don't I use some materials that might fit the bill and create up a mock up device for you? That'd be great! Thanks so much for your help. No need to be so polite. You're my customer. Also, this kind of project is a nice change of pace. Maybe we can just pick a random one. It's not like we're really gonna use it anyway. No, that won't do. I don't think I can justify that to myself. If these were for ordinary use, then it'd be acceptable. Barely. But if you want a product that is top-notch, this is far from ideal. <laughs> Why are you so interested all of a sudden? Yeah, what now? Don't worry too much about the material. If you think it'll be difficult to obtain, we can get it for you. I want to try all our options. Hmm. Since we're on the topic of legends, allow me to tell you one about blacksmiths. All of us in Sumeru know about this legendary forging material. It possesses excellent properties that are matched by no other. Using it to forge something is every blacksmith's dream. Some spend their entire lives searching for this material in vain. While others have it in their possession, yet never use it in their forge. Huh? Why's that? That's because the material is too precious. Many believe themselves unworthy to work with it due to a lack of skill. In other words, not only does it represent the pinnacle of material quality, but also the culmination of a smith's skills. I constantly practice and hone myself, so when I do encounter this material, we won't pass each other by like two ships in the night. So, you mean that it symbolizes dreams? Dreams, inspiration, obsession, focus. Call it what you want. But if you take it to symbolize purity, then I believe it is your goal as well. We call it Earthstone, but in truth, neither I nor my colleagues have ever seen it. It's more like a goal, and also a warning. This fits perfectly with the tale of the meteor shower! Then, why don't we go looking for it? Uh, is it even something we can find? Exactly! We're chasing down a legend after all! What's true or not doesn't matter as much. If we do find it, that's a big win for us! And if we don't, maybe we can still find something that could be used as a substitute. When you put it like that... Hey, excuse me. If I might intrude, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Yeah, she and I were hanging out not that long ago. What's the matter? Do you know where she went? She hasn't returned home yet. Huh? I wonder why. When we split up, she said she was heading home. Oh dear. Oh. I'm sorry if I seem worked up. I'm Avine's mother. She's been depressed ever since she fell ill and was forced to use a wheelchair. 
I'm concerned about her mental health. If she does something reckless because she's not in a good state of mind... It's okay, don't worry. We'll help you find her. I can't say that I know her very well, but I think she just has a lot on her mind and is trying to come to terms with her feelings. That's reassuring. <sighs> she doesn't want to tell me anything, probably because she thinks nothing she says would make either of us feel better. But I can't tell what she's thinking if we don't communicate. I'm worried that I'll panic and make things worse by saying the wrong thing. Don't worry. I'm sure she has a reason for wanting some space to herself at the moment. We should just be open and understanding with her. But that does bring me to a question I've been mulling over in my head. Do you think there's something else going on in her life? Not that I'm aware of. I just know the illness was a big blow to her. She's always been physically active. She absolutely loved to run and jump, and she told me that she wanted to become a great adventurer someday. But after she became ill, she lost strength in both legs. She hasn't been able to stand since. We've consulted with countless doctors, but they're all stumped. They said all she can do is slowly recuperate. No one can say for sure if she'll ever stand or walk again. She believes that her legs will never recover, and her dreams of seeing the world would be forever shattered. <sighs> it's... This was all too sudden. Too unfair. Okay, I understand. I'll find a way to bring her around. Sorry, but it looks like we'll have to put our meteor shower search on hold. We're coming with you! Mr. Blacksmith, do you remember seeing a child in a wheelchair? Sorry, afraid not. I've been keeping my eyes on my anvil. But you're looking for someone, I suggest dropping in on Sadeg. He's my supplier. If anyone's aware of the comings and goings in Treasure Street, it'd be him. Do you know where we can find him? He's probably resting just over there. It's not far. Got it. Thanks for your help with everything. We'll go over there and see what we can find out. Don't worry, I don't think she's gone too far. Thank you so much. He and I will continue asking around in the city. If you find her, please, let me know. Thanks again for helping. Excuse me? Have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Hmm. Now that you mention it, that does ring a bell. I was moving some boxes at the time, and I saw her pushing her wheelchair so hard she was panting. I asked if she needed help, but she didn't respond, as if she didn't hear me. Sounds like there really was something on her mind. Yeah, that was the impression I got, too. What's wrong? Did she go missing? Yes, so we're looking for her. I see. That's rather worrying. I know. I'll ask my friends and see if they know anything. She went that way. If you ask people as you go, hopefully you'll track her down. Okay, thanks. If you find out anything, don't forget to tell the people with the green scarves. <laughs> you mean the core of 30. Don't worry, I got it. Excuse me, uh, we're looking for a child in a wheelchair? Oh. I remember her. She went that way not too long ago. I asked her what she was doing. It's my job, after all. She just said she had something important to do and didn't want to be disturbed. That seems a little weird. Whatever the case, she left the city. If you follow that road, you should be able to find her. Gotcha. Thanks a lot. Did a child in a wheelchair pass this way? A wheelchair? Oh, so that's what it was. I didn't get a good look, but something going pretty fast went sliding down that slope over there. Oh no, how dangerous. For sure. There's terrain of all sorts outside the city, and if that was the kid... Got it. It was over there, right? 
We'll be going now. Thanks.